Hi, my name is Ernie Kleinman, and welcome to our channel this morning. And we'll be discussing Chinese planes for instrument making or luthiery. So for this segment over here, which I'll be discussing, you don't need to have all these planes that I've got lined up. Uh, some of them I use for specialty work, some of them I use for general work, and I've got them set at different angles and different bedding angles and different grinding angles. So I'm not going to go into a discussion about that right now, but what I will talk about <clears throat> is what I use the planes for, and I'll give you a little demonstration, and I'll show you the planes that I primarily use and which ones I find most useful luthiery, for luthiery. So starting off over here on, on your left, I've got a Chinese jointer plane. And the big difference is between the Chinese jointer plane and let's say our Western plane, I, I look at Chinese planes as a kind of a hybrid plane between the East and the West because because of this handle over here, you can either push the plane forward or turn it around and pull it towards you. The primary bedding angle over here is 45 degrees and the angle itself on the blade is roughly about 30, uh, 30 degrees and it's a laminated blade so it's basically got a softer steel on the, on the top end over here and a much much harder steel on the bottom end. So this one I like to use for jointing. Now here's another little plane uh, that I use for it's a, it's, I would call it like a, a smooth jack plane because if you look closely over here, it's got a very small opening in the mouth over here. So I use it to make very, very small shavings for, for finish cuts. Or you can use it if you've got one um, on a little side angle. So you can use it for shooting a, a board and cutting it that way. And here's another Chinese plane. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's got a little bigger opening. You can use that for either fine work or rough work. And the, these blades are, most of them are usually about, they're kind of generic. They're about 44 millimeters or inch and three quarters. And a lot of them are set over here at the angle over here at 45 degrees. They're very easy to adjust. You either tap the, this wedge over here, either tap it forward to tighten the blade, or hit it over here, this area over here, to loosen the blade and put your thumb or your forefinger down over here on the bottom to catch the blade or make sure it's on the table, otherwise your, your blade will go flying onto the ground. So be aware of that. Keep that in mind whenever you're using these Chinese blades. And like everything else, there's a learning curve to learn how to use them. A lot of these blades I got either from Woodwell in China or I got some of them also from um, eBay. There's a number of sellers on there if you look around. And here's a small little tiny, I believe I got this from Woodcraft Supply a long time ago. It's a basically a very small rosewood kind of a jack plane, if you will. And it's good for making cuts across the board, which I like. Don't use it that often. Same idea, 45 degrees angle over here and wedge and a handle over here made out of some oriental type of rosewood. Uh, these other ones over here, here's a kind of an intermediate between a smoothing plane and a jack plane. It's about 12 inches long or so, some, somewhere in that, let's see, forget what the metric is. Also the same 44 generic millimeter blade or one and three quarters of an inch, 45 degrees, and it's got a larger mouth opening. So it could be used as kind of like a rough jack plane to, to get some big shavings and big material out of the way. And here's a little specialty plane, Chinese one, which I really, really like. And I use basically this plane for hardwoods only, like rosewood, ebony, boxwood, hard maple, any really, really hard wood, ipe, um, so on and so forth, all the different rosewoods. It's also a rosewood plane, but as you can see, it has a very steep bevel angle. I believe it's either 55 or 60 degrees. And I believe also the blade is laminated. And I'm sure I got this either from Woodwell or Woodcraft. Japan Woodworker, those people carry these kinds of planes. Very, very useful for cutting down hardwoods. And this one I got from an eBay seller, and I don't know what kind of wood it is. 
looks like some sort of yellow oriental hardwood. It's just a, a longer joiner plane with a very wide mouth opening. So it's good for like general jointing purposes, but not exactly what I would call a fine jointing plane. And last is a very inexpensive, I think I paid $12 for this, inexpensive basic uh, jack plane. It's about 15 inches long and it's basically for cutting a lot of woods down to size very quickly. I wouldn't exactly call that a smoothing, smoothing jack plane. And it's got a slightly bigger opening so you can use it again for cutting down whatever it is that you're working on. So what, my recommendation if you want to get started with Chinese planes is there's three planes that are, in my opinion, are the most useful. This long jointer plane over here, this smoothing plane over here with the narrow mouth opening, and, and this rosewood plane for cutting really, really hard woods. Now, the difference between the Chinese planes and other ones is that you can plane for a lot longer because of the light weight. You can plane your wood for a lot longer without tiring out compared to Western planes. A long uh, jointer plane like Stanley will weigh seven or eight pounds. So if you're doing any kind of lengthy jointing or doing a lot of work, you're going to be tiring up fairly quickly. So I would recommend this one over here, Chinese ebony jointer plane. I think it's Makassar ebony. This rosewood uh, jointer plane, Chinese, over here with a very small mouth opening. Very good. And also this rosewood. Uh, high angle smoothing plane, which is good for fingerboards, bridges, etc., etc. And I'll very briefly demonstrate the use of these planes over here. You can stop it for now.